In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create five options in for graphic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide looks. When I click, you can see here the first option comes. Step one, you can add the icon and the detailed text. When I click, it will show you the second option, the third option, fourth and fifth. Then I've added some color bar here. So depending on your requirement, you can increase or decrease these options. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, PowerPoint University, please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my telegram group with the help of this QR code and if you like to support my channel you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the background to any light color background then go to insert shapes. From the rectangles I'm going to choose the rectangle draw a rectangle maybe this much size uh, later on we can increase or decrease it. So shape outline make it no outline and I'm going to give some different color here. Then go to insert shapes, select the right triangle, draw the right triangle, something like this. You can see here again, shape outline, make it no outline. I'm going to put it here and then go to rotate and make it uh, flip horizontal. And then the same, I'm going to copy it at the top. So hold the control shift key together and put it at the top. So it looks something like this. Now the bottom part, I'm going to cut it and I'm going to merge the top part. For that, first select the uh, this uh, rectangle and then hold the shift key, select the bottom triangle, merge shape, I'm going to make it subtract. So I end up getting a shape like this and then hold the shift key again, select the top triangle and make it merge shapes and union. So I end up getting a shape, something like this, all right? I can give maybe a white color all right then I'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl D and I'm going to give some somewhat a uh, light gray color and then I'm going to make it flip horizontal and I'm going to merge it or just attach it all right you can see here how it looks now I'm just going to select both of this press ctrl D to duplicate I'm going to keep it here and then I'm going to duplicate one more time and this one I'm going to put it exactly on top of this one and I'm going to cut the bottom part so let me just show you what exactly I'm trying to do for example if you see here I have made it somewhat uh, different color just to find out exactly what I'm trying to do I'm going to keep the bottom part and the top part I'm going to delete it for my later use okay so first of all I'm going to select this one hold the shift key select this shape and go to my uh, shape format and merge shape and i'm going to subtract so i end up getting a shape like this now i'm going to select this one and hold the shift key select this also merge shape and subtract so i end up getting a shape which looks something like this all right now i'm going to add one more you can hold the control shift key and put it here and if you like to add one more again hold the control shift key and Put it like this here so you can see here i'm going to add only four options if you want you can add five options by reducing the size all right now for these things i'm going to give some different color combination maybe a light color and maybe this one will be a somewhat dark color and control the control shift key and this could be some different color combination light blue and this could be I can get up or give a purple so now I'm going to select all these four shapes and put it here exactly all right now if you want to increase or decrease the size you can press ctrl a to select all the shapes ctrl g to group it and you can increase the size all right so something like this so once this is done I'm going to give some shadow effect for that go to insert shapes select the triangle this one which is isolation triangle draw the triangle all right and I'm going to put it like this here shape outline make it no outline right mouse click go to format shape I'm going to make it gradient fill all right now here because I have used some different so that's the reason I'm getting so many uh, options here so I'm going to delete almost all by keeping only two one i'm going to make it a black color okay and the direction should be at the top and below i'm going to give the same color which i've used for the background all right it looks something like this again if you want you can increase the size move it a somewhat inside and then send this to back so you can see here i have added a shadow effect which looks like this 
hold the control shift key and add the sh same shadow effect here also and then send this to back so you can see here i have added the shadow effect as well so once this uh, part is done i'm going to insert some icons you can go to insert icons if you're using the latest version like 2016 19 or office 365 then you can insert these icons or if you can if you have from your uh, local pc also you can use it so i'm going to insert some random icons i have selected and i'm going to reduce the size maybe 0.6 all right and then i'm going to put it one by one here you can see here all right and then this will come here and then i can insert the step one i'll just say step zero one zero one i'm going to make it bold increase the size center align all right and i'm going to put it here step one okay hold the control shift key this will come step two this will be step three and this will be step four so i'm just going to make it sorry this is one this is two this is three and this is four now what we need to do is we need to give a little bit of a, uh, a 3d effect here okay select this uh, step you have two options here you can see a shape options and text options so we are working with the text so you need to select the text options here go to the effects you can see here the 3d rotation i'm going to select the presets and i'm going to choose this one which is the perspective left and then with the help of these icons you can see here these options you can arrange it so it looks like it is you can see here it looks like this okay the same thing i can just copy and paste it here sorry let me just do this also because the format printer let me just do it this again i'm going to select this one and then whatever you can see here maybe i have to move it more further and you can use it like this so this is the step three it comes like this step two now this step two i'm going to bring it here again go to the text options here i'm going to choose maybe the perspective right and again you need to adjust this one you can see here you need to adjust this one all right so this is step two the same thing we have to do for the step four and then once this is done i'm going to insert text box equals l-o-r-e-m within brackets one so i got this long text i don't want this much long i'm going to delete something and again make it a left align reduce the font size all right and i'm going to put it here the same thing i have to repeat it here again i have to go to the text options text effects again i'm going to make it the perspective left and you can see here all right you have to just see which option which you feel it fits your need so i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and i'm going to add it here now the same thing goes for the these options so i, I cannot put like this you can see here so for this i need to change it to this one and again i can just with the help of these options i can rotate it and put like this press ctrl d and Put it here there's nothing that you have to put 340 degrees 350 degrees it's up to uh, your requirement and uh, how it looks nice if it is not nice you need to adjust these rotations again so you can see here our design is ready and if you like to do some basic animation you can do the animation effect for this